Yo, it's gray matter. Early in the morning, I haven't really slept well. Went to bed, got up at like 4 a.m. and couldn't really go to sleep. And again, I wasn't trying to go to sleep either at this point. Like something in me just wants to stay up. I don't know what I'm, what it is I'm feeling anxious for. Maybe some grace going to happen in my life. I don't know. But um, I was just passing the time. It's 7.38. And I was watching this video popped up. Yeah, I am subscribed. Let's just listen to it and I'll just give my thoughts. So basically, this video is about a particular character in Street Fighter, which is E-Honda, and, um, and kind of the concept of improving at fighting games when you play a character that doesn't have to rely on fundamentals uh, to climb the ranks. First, there's some footage of Daigo literally playing matches with his E-Honda against some other guy who's an E-Honda main, and then they get it. He gets into Daigo does this segment where he gets he takes questions from his viewers and he basically answers them. And there's a question about how to improve at fighting games, even when you play a character that might not have might not be known for, for, for fundamentals. Other people told me that I won't improve as a player if I play a character like Honda. Is this true? <laughs> you do feel bad for the guy. Because you get this, it's such a, it's just a, such an earnest and simple question. It, it honestly doesn't matter which character this, this video is about. It doesn't matter that it's about E Honda. It's just like in Smash, like how many times have you heard of this? Like how many times have you heard or even said, like, I don't know which end of this you're on, but how many times have you heard the, the, the opinion or the idea that like, well, someone's not going to get, get better because they play a character that doesn't incentivize fundamentals. It's such a classic trope, I guess, in Smash and in fighting games in general. It's funny because it's such an earnest question, and it's a simple question. The guy is just saying, like, hey, people tell me that I'm not going to prove if I keep going with Honda. Is this true? But you know that the writer of this question has gotten so much flack from people that he's probably, quote-unquote, cheesed out. Yeah, quote-unquote, cheesed out. Look, I've said this before in my What Makes a Good Player video. If you are not playing the game fundamentally or you're not even focused on things like neutral so on and so forth you're just trying to gimp and cheese your way to victory okay you know you're not going to improve okay you see this behavior compare top level play with a certain character to net play or um, mid level low level and you're going to see the differences you're going to see players who base their entire play style on a single move like, like we've been here before, man. I've already talked about this shit. I was talking about exploring the character and everything that the character had to offer. But instead, Falco mains will rather just shoot because it works. And then try to claim that that's fundamental and that, like, that's neutral. But then you tell them to play a different character and for some odd reason they can't really play the other character properly because they don't know how to properly approach Falcos that are just double laser because there's a lot of bad habits like if you got a character that, that has one good move and you're just using that one good move and you're not building up your skills and anything else you're going to develop a lot of bad habits okay that is something that has happened on numerous occasions but then you hear Toph here bring up some other examples right which is why Daigo's laughing, right? Like at face value, it's not it's not a very funny question. But you know like how much history this guy has to have with people telling him, dude, you're you're actually ass. You actually have no fundamentals. Like you're actually you're actually booty butt cheeks and you don't deserve any of the wins you're getting. And Daigo knows this, so this is why he thinks it's hilarious. Or how much That's training has Daigo done compared to the average player? That's also another factor. It's here. <laughs> Wait, let me rewind this. I want to hear what um everything that Daigo has to say. And it depends on how you see this. So it depends on perspective. It's just how you deal with those issues. So instead of just mashing sumo smash and headbutt, 
you use normals to play the footsies on the ground. So, so he, he's even talking about this. Don't waste your time focusing on one move just because it's good. Try other shit. It's a way you can still play a traditional fighting game even if you're playing Honda. You know, doing different things and figuring out different ways to attack a single... This is what I gotta say. Doing different things and finding different ways to attack a single option will actually help you improve a lot better than just finding the one way. Okay. It's, it's that simple. Yeah, the, do you know the way? It, that's the problem. There's There's multiple ways. Like, it's a fucking... That's why it's called options. Whatever. Yeah, this is where you won't fall into a pitfall that your friend is talking about. I love the way he said that. <laughs> that your friend. <laughs> that your friend. But he's a charged character and he doesn't really have command moves. So I'm afraid your command input accuracy may not not improve, and this is one important skill for fighting games. Exactly. If you're stuck playing one gimmicky ass character and you're not experimenting with anything else, you're not going to figure out the fundamentals. Tech skill is a fundamental. You you can't like I I don't know man like. Some people think that having the most minimalistic tech skill, if your character is good, you know, that they just, they just do whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Was... And this is specific to Honda, but he's basically saying like, well, maybe your execute tech skill won't get better if you keep going with this character because... Many Honda is no problem, but it might help you to pick up another character just in case. Notice how he said that. You're not going to learn how to input special moves the same way as other players. And, and okay, yeah, that's totally a thing. That's totally a thing for sure. You definitely run into you definitely run into melee players. I will stop here and say you definitely run into plenty of melee. USAA is made for the safe pilots. Look at these damn advertisements, man. Like shit. I remember there was a video I ran a four of them in a row. Anyway, what the fuck was this dude saying? Here and say you definitely run into plenty of me melee players who like because of the character they started the game with. Uh, it it's not because of the character, but it's like Related to the character they start the game with, they just never develop tech skill or good movement with other characters. Let's just be honest. Okay. But let's just be honest here. Okay, your character does influence playstyle, and some characters do entice bad habits, while others don't. Let's just be real here. It also depends on the player and their goal in mind when they're actually playing the character. There's some foxes that love technical, aggressive play, while others like to hang back and fish for up smashes. Like, okay. And the reason I say it's not because of the character you started with is because there's Plup, who started with Samus, who's thought to be a slow character that is really peculiar in how she moves, how she plays neutral. And Plup went on to become, what, arguably, I would say, the fastest fox. The you can imply that Plup probably had that fox in his pocket for a long time. The fastest sheet. Probably the he best, wasn't, some of the best moving in melee. He wasn't, so, he wasn't solely a fucking Samus player. I don't believe Plup was a solo Samus main. He probably preferred to play Samus, but I'm pretty sure he had that fox in the back pocket. But maybe I'm wrong, you know? I don't know too much about Plup or his story, but I know that I've had Falco in the back pocket for a long ass time since I started Melee. So there's that. And hell, there's times where I put even more time practicing Falco tech skill than I did practicing Pichu tech. On the flip side, you have hugs. And I'm not going to say much more about that, but, uh, there were times when Hugs Peace, went on Twitter and would say things like, okay, I'm going to start playing Peach. I'm going to start playing Sheik. I'm going to start playing some other characters that are going to give me better chances in the long run for success. And he would drop those characters after like a fucking week. Like everyone knows that any character Hugo has ever tried to play besides literally Melee Samus, are, they're always 
so scuffed. That's what that one guy's friend was talking about in Daigo's video. If you're not expanding and you're just focusing on one character and being cheese on one character, you're not going to get any better. Period. Or you're only going to get good with that one character. And I do think that for a lot of... I will say, a lot of the Samus players that I know, this is something that can happen. I don't think it has to happen, but it definitely can happen. So oh yeah, it doesn't have to happen. It depends on the player and if they decide to play something different or do something different with the character that they're playing. Input thing is a thing. Like, oh, you started with this character, so you're not going to learn execution that applies to most of the cast. Whereas, you know, like... Actually, no, that, that is a definite fact. If you are only learning execution with one character, that, once again, is not it's not required like it is for the other characters. So, so like, for example... um. You know how a lot of fighting games have showdos, so on and so forth, and a lot of fighting games have charged characters, so on and so forth. But then you got that one weird character, you know, that you, you play, and you get real good with that guy, but you can't play the other characters. Like, that, that is a definite fact. Until you decide to go into training mode and learn the other shit, you're not going to get anywhere with those characters. If I'm explaining that right, once again, I was up since 4 a.m. It's 7 in the morning now, so I'm probably not even articulating my words better. But anyone who knows what it is, the fuck that I'm trying to say, they know what the fuck I'm trying to say. But hey, let's, let's get back to this. Spacey's players or like Marth players, Falcon players usually don't really have that problem. Like I don't know any, I don't know any Fox players that like just can't pick up secondaries. Like but what type of secondaries are they picking up too? Because Marf doesn't require as many inputs as Fox does, but on like the base level, what it is that they do is essentially the same. But uh, I don't know how many Fox, you know, Fox players are out here picking up Yoshi. You get what I mean? Like Leffen, super good secondaries. Moki, super good secondaries. You know, Mango, obviously. Silent Wolf. You know, uh, S S Fat. Like Yo Yoshi at a high level. Let me clarify. I mean, he's not really known for his secondaries, but, like, I've seen him play at, like, locals and stuff. I've seen him play secondaries, and his secondaries are good, right? So, that is a thing. That is a thing. It's a short... Yeah, this is what I was saying. It's a short question, but there's this, like... There's so much history loaded in this question. It feels like there are years and years of this guy getting berated by his peers. It's like the way he asks it. I, I don't know. You gotta feel bad for this guy. You gotta feel bad for this guy. Everyone's telling him he's dog shit because he plays. And I think this is a thing in Melee. And there's still truth to it. Regardless of how you want to take it, there's truth to that. I'm not going to say a guy's... Well, I, hell, I said it before. I believe that if you main certain characters in Melee... And, you know, you play it like if you play a certain way with certain characters in Melee, you are dog shit. I don't give a fuck if you win or not, because in the end of the day, you're winning with shit that isn't going to get you far. I've, I've said this already. There is truth to that. OK. There is truth to that. Like playing your younger brother, he spams a lot of shit, but because he's spamming. And he's getting he's getting by with the spam, but once he gets to that one final boss, <laughs> and he starts getting his ass kicked, now 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 he wants to um now he needs your help to deal with the shit, cause he doesn't fucking know the fundamentals. And in Smash, so we already talked about the execution thing. Like sometimes you're just literally hugs, eighty six, and you. Now I would say hugs is really good fundamentals, but I wouldn't say he's good tech skill. And I do think that the way Samus functions in neutral is so different from other characters in Melee that, like, I don't know. I, I just have a really hard time visualizing him picking up other characters. I just think that's going to be really, really, really difficult. Or you know, I don't believe that just standing there and waiting for your opponent to approach and using up B out of shield or spamming dash back down smash is the only way to play Samus. But I have yet to see another Samus main really experiment with that shit. Like, it is is a problem when a lot of players 
play a character the exact same way and then we have it in our mind that this is the meta this is how shit is supposed to be and instead of growing and building you pr prefer to stay in that one fucking box but you know does playing this character hinder improvement a lot of times yes if you're not willing to expand what it is the fuck that you're doing okay i'm not saying you have to change your mains or pick up a secondary but if you're stuck doing the same shit you're not going to get anywhere i've said that in my what makes a good player video okay and winning winning with cheese alone ain't going to get you anywhere Okay, like if you're you're playing a game, okay, you're you're trying to figure out a neutral, you're trying to build on your tech, so on and so forth. Yeah, you can get better doing that because that's not just one fucking thing. But there's too many players out here to focus on one fucking thing. For the longest time we thought ice climbers were only good with wobbling. Like shit like that. Like that needs to fucking stop. Uh, I'm gonna continue this. Then um you know. Someone, Someone who plays, plays uh, uh, yeah, Fox or Marth or even like Sheep Falco, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, excuse me? Someone who plays uh, really, really, really difficult. Or it would be more work picking up other characters. I just think that's, that's going to be really, really, really difficult. Or it would be more work than, um, you know, someone, someone who plays, plays uh, uh, yeah, Fox or Marth or even like Sheep Falco, et cetera, et cetera. But the thing is, you really hear this concept a lot as applied to characters like the Ice Climbers. And I remember, I think a classic example of this, and you don't see as much of this anymore, but I think a classic example of this is the wobbling arrow. And people would talk about dirty wobblers, like they could never actually get good at melee, you know, my, myself included. I was, I was, especially behind closed doors, very harsh on Icy's Mains back then. I was like, oh, you know, they're just playing this game. They're playing, they're just playing Ice Climbers. They're not really playing melee, you know, and... Obviously, the way Isis move around, the way they take stocks, even when it was when it was uh, when wobbling was legal, it was so specific that I felt, and I think a lot of people felt. That was, no, it was evident. It wasn't just a feeling. Find yourself. But hey, a lot of top players felt like it was it was it was just antithetical to how most characters in melee function, and therefore, if you started as an Isis player, you could not get good with other characters. I never said you couldn't get good with other characters, but I said you were dog shit. Well, I didn't. He's not talking about me specifically, but me. You are dog shit if you rely on wobbling and only wobbling. There are ice climber players out there that don't rely on wobbling and are actually good at the fucking game. Okay, saying that they're just not good at melee in general. Uh, well, not not. They can never be good at melee in general is a stretch. But them in their current state the way they're piloting that character if you're just focusing on wobbling you are dog shit the funny thing is i don't think that that really held true i think a lot of the ICs players from back then actually got quite good with other like nintendo for example or infinite numbers even army and i was so sure that army because again you look at how ICs moves they don't dash dance they're just wave dashing around right they kind of zone upwards like, when you think about how they deal with, like, Fox, they're kind of just using up airs to shark for full jumps a lot of the time. It's just a very different game than what other characters are doing. And then, of course, the wobble, you're not reacting to DI or anything. Once you get the wobble, the stock is just over, right? But sure enough, you know, I... Even though I don't think any of them became particularly prominent tournament threats, you know, I played Army's Falcon back in the day on Netplay, and it was super legit. Arguably the best example in Smash Bros. is actually Wizzy. It feels weird to say Wizzy because most of you guys know him as a Falcon player who has a really good dash dance, who has really good tech chasing. I would say Wizzy is probably one of the most fundamentally sound players uh, in the game, right? Like today, like, you know, Wizzy, if there's a fundamental melee technique, Wizzy can probably do it. He's got like some of the best DI. He's got some of the best dash dancing, best tech chasing. But... When he started getting prominent in the Smash Bros. community, it was actually in PM, and he was a Sonic main. If you guys have never seen how Sonic operated in that game, it was kind of fucking gross. Let me Look, Sonic was fast. He had good combos. It's not the same as fucking wobbling. 
I seen Wizzy Sonics. Wizzy Sonic, I think, was probably the sole reason why they changed Sonic's um fucking kit. But it was very clear that he knew what he was doing and he knew how to play the game. He didn't just rely on a single fucking technique to get by. He's shown that he was actually really good fundamentally. He actually understood Smash Brothers. Okay, he didn't just cheese people. I mean, I could pull up an old Wizzy video, but I currently don't even fucking feel like it. Let me see if I can find a really, really good example. This might be the. That's exactly why he's dead. Famous Wizzy. Greatest skipper in the game. Yep, and that's exactly why he's dead, sir. All it takes is one side. What the fuck, yeah. the fuck is this? Even though Sonic Dude. is the greatest skipper in the game. Yep, and that's exactly why. And he just ho at homing attack. I mean, it's called a homing attack because it's an attack and it homes it on you. So you go on stage and you do homing attack and it just you just launch at the opponent and they die. And that's it. And that's exactly why he's <laughs> Dead, sir. Sonic Whoa. Nice. Nice combo. Oh! <laughs> look at the, look at the fucking, look at the fucking, look at the, look at the frame date on this shit. Oh, I'm landing like an idiot. Oh, I'm a W. I'm just falling at you. Oh, springboard. And then he's on the ground for like. Bro, four frames, five frames, six, six frames. frames. You're, You're already, already in a spot, spot dodge. That had like no landing lag. Did that auto? I guess it auto canceled. I, dude. Yeah, that's why they changed Sonic's kit. He had the right idea. He had the right reaction. Was that cheese? You can, you can, you can all argue that the GIMP was cheese. The home attacks and all that. That was cheese. But how many times people get shine spiked by Fox? In melee, I've died at four percent fighting fox mains many times. So if anything, it's just giving fox a taste of his own shit. But it's whatever. <laughs> Yoink! Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Truly emergent gameplay. Oh my god. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> uh, so anyway, well, that's that. This is this was my first exposure to Wizard, and Cobol, you know, had been known in the melee community for years at this point. He's a very old school player. He's super duper good, and so I saw this, and I was like, I've never heard of this Wizard guy, but this guy is not gonna make it. This guy is not gonna make it. This guy only knows how to press the B button in Sonic. Like he's not doing. Anything, you know, he did the upbeat thing and like it has no lag. And he got <laughs> oh shit! Wait. So, you you know what? I could say a whole bunch of shit about what the fuck he just said right there. Okay. How many times does Fox just press the fucking B button and kill people? Like, get out of here, man. But but whatever. Like he played the on stage game and then gimped him. him. This guy's not gonna make it. This guy's got no fundamentals. This guy cannot cannot get the job. He's just relying on his special moves. Like he he's just relying on gimps. Yeah. He, he literally just side bees at him into the corner and kills him at zero. Like what? You know how how is this guy ever gonna get good at melee? There's just there's just no way. This guy is. I'm never gonna hear about this guy. again. Sounds, Sounds ridiculous. Some players, right? It's an insane his name in the brackets, and I was like, that guy's playing. And I was like, that guy's playing Falcon. I was like, I was like, man, that guy's got a, that Wizzy guy has to realize, like, dude, melee's not that easy, and especially Falcon. Like, Falcon's not that easy. Play these cheese. Yeah, he should have used a different fucking Wiz Wizzy video. You know what? Um, I was looking at some Ninja Turtle shit. Let me let me let me find something. We're we want to analyze Wizzy. Because Wizro was more than just gimps. I said, oh, wow, why did I spell this guy's name so bad? Uh, Wizro.
best PM Sonic you've seen. This is cold bullshit. This is him against Peach. Um, yeah, it's Mewtwo King. This is. Uh, I mean, I play in Florida. Oh shit, I'm that's loud as fuck. Like, this kid you about to see. Really? Right? This kid? I want to tell you about Wizrobe. I know. Tell him. I want you to talk about it. Honestly, he came to a melee tournament when he was 13 years old. He's uh, probably well, echoing and shit now. It. And this kid was playing Fox. And I'm just kind of obnoxious. And like, whenever he would do like good stuff or wave dash or wave shine or kill someone with Fox, I would get all hype. And yeah. I got this like, kind of like 15 people around him. And we're all cheering him on. And this kid, you know, he's. Raw. Let's get to the I gameplay. Let's, let's look at what Wizrobe so does so on stage. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Well, this guy's crazy. Wait, this is Peach? Yeah. Oh. King was he went, he honed the tag, he backed so, off. Alright. I heard everybody has Nair beats this. And see, you know. Nair beats it? <laughs> Let's see if that works. I, I heard top players look at Wizro play and their mouths just drop. So I'm curious to see what. I've never seen him play. Uh, the thing with Wizzy is. Okay, this is semi is. Um, I think I've played this. But um, Wizro, uh, he uses Sonic. And he gets to kind of the same hate I do, that I do for playing Jigs and Melee. <laughs> Basically, he he takes a character. People thought you know he's pretty good, but they didn't realize how you know broken the character yeah. would be. Yeah, you seen this? Yeah. Whereas Jigs has a background melee. Sonic has this spin attack dash thingy. And whenever I play him, I honestly have no idea what button he's pressing. He uses honestly, is that a side B? Is that a dash attack? Is that a, a taunt? Do I? I'm not sure, but he just does it really, really well. And oh. there's been a lot of- Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, he's that's- king. That was just smart read. Didn't he say, uh, Nair could just beat it? Oh, no problem, I'll just, uh, na I'll just never repeat. Well, Mr. King's like, oh yeah, I played on Wi-Fi. That was only eight frames of lag. I'm like, okay, buddy. Wait till you play him in person. <laughs> wait, till you, wait till you get a load of this blue fuck- Oh, I'm sorry. Blue, <laughs> blue freaking hedgehog. Um, Wizard is already an entire stock ahead plus some percent. You have no idea combos. the anguish I go through playing this guy. <laughs> I beat him at Apex, really? but he got even better. And then I forfeited to him so I can play Reflex. Um, yeah. But I think I'm not going to talk about that because Reflex is a whole other story. <laughs> but yeah, man, this kid, he, he knows stuff. He's what very play? patient, plays very well. What uh, he, did he get at Apex? He, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, for PM? Yeah. He got second because I forfeited oh him in, in, in the final day. Oh, wow. And he got even better, I heard. I, mean, I could sit here and um, watch the entire thing, but bottom line is, he was a patient player and looked for the right opening to go in and approach. And if he didn't feel like approaching, he did not approach. Okay, but when he did approach, he was able to capitalize off of it. Okay, he actually had melee fundamentals. Just because he gimped Fox three times in a row doesn't mean he doesn't have fundamentals. Okay. He didn't rely on, he doesn't rely on gifts oh, yeah. all the time. But the, so the game keeps getting... He still played on stage game. He didn't just hang by oh, ledge. Oh, oh Mewtwo King this is getting kind of bothered. Like, plus some percent. You have no idea. He what still bothered to approach. Wi-Fi, that was only eight frames of lag. I'm like, okay, buddy. Wait till you play me in person. <laughs> <laughs> wait, till you, wait till you get a load of this blue fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Blue, <laughs> blue freaking hedgehog. Um, Wizard is already an entire stock ahead plus some percent. You have... And plus, Sonic is also very fucking fast. Granted, it, it's Sonic. Wait, is, is Wizro fighting me or M2K? I can't... Now compare that to a Marth who likes to hang by ledge and just wait for you to approach and then he just back throws... Well, not back throws, down throws. It's a down throw, but the down throw throws you behind him at a good enough distance to where he can land an easy forward smash. And he can just get gimps off of that. Okay. This is his match with Kobo. Fucking lo fi shit. Fucking advertisements. Okay, so this is his match with Kobo. Look at this. No fundamentals? As soon as I skipped, he was being aggressive. And as I say that, Wizzy gets a gimp, edgeguarding Mario's recovery, which is almost unedgeguardable. Really. Nice up here from Wizzy. Like, Wiz is doing way more than just mashing B, but you can't compare him to a wobbler. Or a lame ass fox or a lame ass mark. You, you you can't just compare him to that. Cheesy characters in a way cheesy, right, quote unquote, in a way that will let you succeed with other characters, um, down the road as you as you keep progressing or try to quote in a way that
to impart to people is like there's this whole notion of like how to play these cheesy characters in a way cheesy right quote unquote in a way that will let you see uh, no 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 before you quote unquote that there are characters who have a easier time gimping and cheesing out other characters they just have an easier time doing it okay that does inherently make them cheesier or just cheesy in general with other characters um down the road as you but you can tell the difference between a player who relies on the cheese and a player who's actually good he knows how to utilize what he has without relying on the cheese as you keep progressing or try to keep progressing and uh the thing about it is i've kind of realized over the years that like i and this is in the context of i think a lot of people ask questions like which characters is this a good character to start with you know you got to realize like you know armada one of the best fox players you know played only peach for a long 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 time and i think that like the more the more people i see who get really good at, at melee and and you know and other smash games other fighting games i i kind of realize that the whole concept of like starting with a character that'll teach you fundamentals is somewhat or i wouldn't even say somewhat i think it's quite overblown i think people worry about it way too much because you see this kind of thing a lot you do see like a lot i mean play whoever the fuck you want there's no problem with that just don't expect any respect if you rely on the gimpy shit or the um if I, I forgot the word i was going to use um the gimmicky shit if you rely on the gimmicky shit don't expect any uh, respect from any players okay if you are clearly able to demonstrate your ability to play the on-stage game the neutral game you showcase the ability to read your opponent react to your opponent adapt to your opponent okay you're you don't come off as spammy you're not um just focusing on trying to get the one win the one way then yeah you you will be considered a good player or at the very least you will get respect but if you're a player like i've said before where you just for example just throwing this out there you just mash and peach down smash or you only can get victories off of cheap turnip throws you know your stitch face luck is just immaculate don't expect any respect a lot of people ragging on people for picking especially if you're on stage game is trash a certain way and basically insinuating like you're never gonna get good or you're never gonna get at least you're never gonna get well-rounded because you're playing in this weird style and you well actually yeah there's a lot of things that everybody could work on and if you play a certain type of way with a certain way of doing things and you don't ever bother to work on the other skills, you will not be well-rounded. That is fact. That's with everything. You see this all the time in, in, in amongst a variety of different games. And yeah, I mean, time and time again, I just, I just, the more I see, the more I think it doesn't matter. I don't know. I guess the one, the one thing that I might go so, so far as to point out is that, that like you know how Daigo talked about like um okay well with with honda, honda you know if you use your normals right you're actually like playing footsies you're actually like playing neutral you're not just relying on your b essentially, essentially what, what are i mean obviously they're not b moves because it's street fighter but they're basically b moves right it's like um uh special moves you're like special, special. moves with really ridiculous frame data like as it's long as you're not relying on those you'll be fine you'll get better you know what uh, I I closed my case. I, I I was I was just saying that I was saying that for the longest, and yet I get flack for it. Don't rely on the gimps. Don't rely on the lasers. Don't rely on that down smash and that forward smash and that up smash. Okay. Don't rely on that knee. Actually, explore everything else that your character has to offer. Because if you don't, you are shit at the game. We've literally spent, I don't know how long, what, 30 something odd minutes beating around the bush to get to basically what Daiko said at the fucking beginning. What I've said in my videos. You know, you need to expand on what it is that you are doing or else you will not fucking improve. Now, to answer the question, does this character 
um, hinder improvement. In a lot of cases, it can. Why do I say that it can? Is because of, there's characters out there that encourage certain behavior in certain play styles because it works. And people are going to gravitate towards that instead of trying something different. That's my answer to this question right here. Now, it may seem like I beat around the bush or I, um, I don't know. I maybe have seen like I contradicted myself. I'm going to have to, um, go back into it. Cause like, I'm still, like I said, I'm tired and I might, I might be all over the place, but to answer the question of this video right here, you can see the title. Characters can hinder improvement. It can. If you let it, they can. That's all I have to say.